All right, as far as I know, we are streaming, and hopefully there's audio as well. Um, I'm your host, Sean Darling. Now, um, today I'm here in Plasticity, which uh, is fairly new to me, but I've been doing quite a bit of modeling in here and learning, and i got to tell you, it's a pretty amazing modeling program, so hats off to the creator of this. First things first, um, I created this little concept uh, art in Mid Journey, <clears throat> which uh, some of you are cool with and some aren't, but hey, lighten up. And I just brought it in here by importing an image. It puts it on a plane. You just rotate it to be at your desired position and so forth. And that way I uh, put the feet right at this ground plane line. Um, come in here and you press M and you can bring up uh, materials which allows you to uh, turn down the opacity like that. You can also um, say how you want this to uh, be seen. So right now it's set to normal so the box is in front of it and obviously this image plane is behind but if I put front here the image plane is still behind the box, but as the box moves in front, the image will be projected on the front side so you can sort of see through it without it being in front of the box. So that's pretty handy stuff. My cat has uh, decided to be very vocal today, so just ignore her. And uh, anyway, so um, I'm just starting off with our little default cube. I'm not going to really use this as a layover type situation but what I'm gonna do is just kinda get the proportions right using that image and then I'll be able to um, remove that and right now I just and that's another thing about the program is you have to confirm everything you do so I barely pushed G to move I moved my cube up here and then you have to confirm so either you can click enter or the OK button or right click and it will confirm something I have a hard time remembering so I'm gonna scale with S and just kinda get the position uh, position the um, dimensions there we click OK we grab and move this over a little just making sure that my chest piece is essentially the same size. It doesn't have to be exact because obviously I'm just doing this for my own purposes, but approximately like that. So this will be our chest box. Um, and looking from the side, the nice thing is it has very similar, you can set this to work like Blender, exactly like Blender, but it, as defaults, it has a very similar um, navigation as blender so I'm rotating with my middle mouse wheel here and so forth so we've got our little chest block here I'm gonna make the the head block now it's obviously tapered to the front it looks to me like this could possibly be a one to like a hexagon shape so I'm just gonna make the decision and make this a hexagon shape uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna look from the top here just gonna click on the little cube come over here to our polygon and say hey make it from here but that's a five we hold shift and scroll up you can change the number of sides and I'm gonna say I'm gonna put it not where the point is on like that I don't think but um, let's do it where the uh, point is like so that way we have a flat side there we'll say okay now we've got this shape going on we want to um, extrude that out so I'm just gonna grab the the shape and move it up to where when we look from the front view if we can uh, I'll get this approximately at the bottom of the head which is essentially here I'm going with the middle of this line because the heights would be correct at that point and I'm gonna press SS and try to scale that up to be approximately of that size and we right click to confirm and then I'm going to grab this face by going into face mode you can also go one two three four and five uh, to select for the selection modes I'm just clicking the buttons here 
but we grab this uh, select the face we're already put into extrude mode we're gonna look from the front again and just drag this up until we get approximately the head size that we're looking for and that's that so obviously we want this probably to be over here uh, I could have done this another way like created the drawing from there so let's go back and do that let's try to um, snap this this face to the uh, cube there which is centered so I'm gonna grab the curve in curve mode look at it from the top this may or may not work uh, G to move and we're going to just snap that to there and if you notice it's perfectly centered uh, but our box is not perfectly centered because we moved it over remember so I'm going to grab the box now G move the box over until it's perfectly snapped and now we've got both of those exactly where they need to be and looking from the front we're going to uh, select the face mode here first we're looking from the front we're going to extrude that up again to approximately that position right click to confirm and there we go that's our base shape um, we might want to do uh, the arm boxes and stuff at this point uh, why not a good easy way to do that would be to draw rectangles that are approximately the size we need so going just here to here and about here to uh, that's that's about right something like that that will be the upper rectangle for the upper arm I'm just gonna do this one side um, and it looks like these are probably somewhat the same maybe the bottom one's a little thicker maybe not because looking at over here that would be about the same size and if they're uh, different sizes that's cool too because uh, it could be asymmetrical asymmetric asymmetrical however that said I'm gonna draw a small um, box here just to create a hand box and then I'll figure all this out it looks like they're gonna have three fingers here and a thumb um, let's go ahead to while we're in this view and draw these little upper leg boxes I'm just gonna draw one about that size we will move all this later um, these are some odd looking knees these will probably change but I'm gonna give it kind of a basic size this is really just for proportion so you guys understand um, I'm gonna go from about here to about there this will be a box for those legs and the front of the feet is going to be approximately that size which can move as well we can just grab these things and shift them around like so uh, which is probably best to do so we'll grab uh, we have to grab this as a curve not as a face move that into position once again grab move right click grab um, move and right click to confirm all of that and those are basically our it's kind of like the plotting out uh, of everything I'm going to duplicate this one shift D just like in blender and then we can move that down uh, into its position I think I'm going to scale this a little bit taller on that guy uh, possibly wider I kind of like the idea that this one would be a little fatter you know the wrist piece so I'm just going to kind of pull that to where it's about the same here and then this hand one we're going to grab it um, move it over because it would essentially come out of the the center or close to I'm going to duplicate it as well so that I get the finger section approximately this will all be adjusted and then it looks like the thumb section uh, could be the exact same length as everything else so we're going to take that guy we're going to rotate it around about like that 
and I think that's going to work for almost every piece. This stuff here I'll worry about uh, once we get these other pieces drug out. For the most part I think that's working. Uh, all the detail will get done in another view or in another, another way. So there we go. I'm going to now take the um, yes cat, take the picture here. I'm going to move that to the side. I'm going to go ahead also and uh, up its opacity again because I want to be able to see it fully uh, back to one. And now we can use this as a reference um, when we're when we're working, so I can see what needs to be done and what you know we're doing and all that fun stuff. So for the legs, everything is pretty much a cube, it looks like. The arms uh, are sort of halfway, boxes sort of halfway along the body. So if this was, um, I can't figure out, I haven't figured out yet how to um, ex, ex, uh, expand, I keep wanting to say, but I mean like extrude from the middle out. Um, I know there's a way to do it and I cannot remember how to do it so a lot of the time I will take these um, pieces, let's just take these curves and I'll pull them forward so I can extrude everything back in a single direction. So I'll just grab all those, we're going to move them forward about about where that's going to hit the front face of that, something like that. Uh, I also like to name as I go, so in object mode I'm just going to call this head. This one's going to be uh, body. I obviously spelled, obviously spelled head wrong. Um, that's alright. There we go. And that's body, head. This is going to be shoulder, but let's take care of it first. So um, we'll just grab that and it automatically goes into extrude mode and we can that back as far as we think it needs to go and there's our shoulder or at least the beginnings of it I'm gonna go ahead and name it this is going to be the forearm so we will pull that guy back as well something similar it's obviously larger which I think is cool that it is because it's odd Let's see forearm Sorry about the wiggling of the camera. It's attached to the desk I'm typing on. Um, this is going to be hand, so we'll just pull this one back a bit less because we're going to shift the whole box back. Right click to confirm. I'm going to grab G and like I said, pull that back to somewhere in the middle of the hand. We'll call this hand. Um, and you can delete these curves, but we'll just wait a second here. This is going to be fingers, so it's going to pretty much be the same width as the hand to start with uh, and then I will narrow them down or whatever uh, that we need to. That's going to be fingers right now, the finger box. That will get separated out into three pieces. This one is going to be the thumb so it's only going to be about that wide. We'll call that thumb just to stay organized. Um, you can come down here and select these curves in curve mode. We can just go boom, shift select all these curves and delete them so they're out of the way, including the arm one here, delete. You don't have to worry about your boxes because it being in curve mode, you're only going to be able to select curves. So I'm going to do the same thing for the head curve as well. It just cleans up the viewer port and it cleans up your um, little listing over there as well. So let's get some leg boxes. These look pretty skinny in the image. So I think the legs are going to be the skinniest part of the robot, uh, which is kind of funny as well. I'm going to take those curves for the legs and actually shift them back. Uh, looking at the middle here, if we extruded them, they'd be really wide. So we're just going to shift these back to where they're about, about like that. Kind of stick legs, you know what I mean? Right click to confirm. I'm going to do these at the same time. So I'm going to select this space and this space with shift. Pull these back to where we get, you know, approximately our, our leg blocks there. This one's going to be relatively thick. The 
cat is being really fun right now. This one's going to be relatively thick um, because we're going to cut a lot of um, pieces out of it. So maybe we'll leave that one where it's at and I will extrude that one now uh, like this to start with and I can come back and always change the scale and shape of that. And then the foot we're going to extrude, I say outward first, so we're going in the forward direction. And then I will go ahead and scale it. Well, let's get rid of the curve because I don't want to accidentally re-extrude a new piece. This one will just offset the face, which is a default. Uh, maybe it comes out a little toward the back like that. Okay, so there are our main blocks. Okay, she's going to have to stop. Fuck. Okay, the, the cat is just driving me nuts. She's... Uh, I don't know, off on a lonely kick today. Um, okay, so also I think I'm going to bring the bottom of this guy right here, right click to confirm, uh, up a little bit because I want to be able to put this little, there's like a little pelvis block or something right there. And so to do that, I'm going to click this set of edges here. Okay. Can we just put her in the back bathroom? And I'm going to offset this to where the tab to where these uh, come in and out from there. So about the width of the legs where they're going to sit because right now they're not in their final position. So about like that. And then I'm going to take this face in face mode and just drop it down a very small amount. About, about like that. And let's get rid of these other curves here. They are not necessary and just in the way. And I'm going to take the legs and the foot, shift selecting those, G for grab or move, and pull that leg in to where it's approximately, you know, somewhere there. Uh, all this is going to get mirrored over, so I got to make sure I save room for that, which as long as I'm got space between the object and that blue line, we have. Uh, some space. It looks like now he's got a little neck block. I think that's just going to be a disc. Um, it looks to me also like it's sort of melded into with a little fillet into the head. So the, the neck's a separate piece, but this little part here might be a jaw. I don't know. He kind of looks to me like he doesn't speak though. So I'm just going to make that sort of a neck ridge of some kind possibly. Um, and to do that, we're going to draw a circle right on the center and do this. And I think it's only about, about yay wide. Looks good to me. We select the face of that and just extrude it down to a degree about like that, leaving enough room for a neck. Now we want to make sure that this piece and this piece probably need to be the same object in my opinion. So we're going to select the top one, go to our boolean here, and then select the bottom one. Right now it's a cutter, but if I click Q, it becomes a union. I right click to confirm everything and now it's all one object. We need to get rid of our curve, delete, very simple. But you can come in here now in your edge mode, select this edge, and if you push in you get a fillet. If you pull out you get a chamfer so we're gonna I'm sorry that's the opposite you pull out you get a fillet you push in you get a chamfer we're gonna go with a fillet you see how that's nice and round just a little bit around like this because that's how round it looks in that image perfect so now we've got uh, that part of his head going uh, I'm not gonna come in here and dress this up too nice until uh, we um, start to really get him worked out a little bit more. I'm going to move this image up because I keep blocking him every time I move and I kind of want to be able to see this pretty readily uh, as we work so I'm going to pull this just kind of next to him for a better comparison here while we work. Um, that is the actual proportions of the guy so I think that's looking great. I'm going to make some tubes I think 
and hopefully um, yeah some tubes for the arms this is going to be a little thicker than this part it looks like um, I'm the forearms are flat boxes for the most part it looks like there's an extra box in the front of that one which is cool but I think these are sort of trapezoid shape here so let's see if we can manage something like that on these upper arms i um, trying to think of the best way to do that I think if I go from the edge here draw a line to here use K for knife and right click we have two pieces that will allow us to pull that center edge out by going grab and it does not so that's not good news we'll undo that I'm not sure why that's working that way let's see if we can do it with points which we cannot either so there is another way to manage that situation and we could boolean that off um, which seems a little extreme in my opinion but let's go ahead and do it uh, just by going a line from here to the center here we click knife and say OK and then we're going to do another one exactly the same from here and down to about here we click knife and we say OK now we can take these faces and this is pretty simple stuff um, and extrude those faces down to create um, let's go W that should be working that's an offset. We're going to have to go with E for extrude. Push those down now. This will work perfectly fine. And then we right click and we have that sort of trapezoid, um, trapezoids, robots. Please report to the dance floor. If you're not old enough to know the song I'm ref referring to, you're not old enough. All right, there we go. And we'll go knife and agree. We will go from here knife to there again knife and agree and then once again we will take these faces we will E for extrude and just pull those down and right click to confirm and we have our shoulder box beautiful I also am thinking of dropping down these front and back edges uh, I may have to do the extrude on that again the boolean let's see if the knife though will allow us to move these two separate edges which we'll just grab now and pull down and um, sort of works let's try them individually grab and move down that's gonna work much better and grab and move down I just think it gives him a little bit more of a little bit more of a humanized or softer look let's bring this back one up just a little bit I think I moved that one down way too far so something like that maybe that's not enough now grab and down that that looks pretty good okay so that's our basic bicep shape um i think that's working let's have a look at the dude over here There's very small details everywhere. We'll worry about worry about those shortly. Um, leg parts. Um, thinking. I'm not sure if I want to go pipes or not, because uh, these kind of look like boxes, but at the same time they do look like pipes. Let's do pipes. Also, we need to make the the neck. So basically, what I'm going to do is redo the legs. And this is real simple. I'm just going to take a line and go from well let's say here to there right click I'm gonna kinda well I guess we don't have to do it this way let's escape that let's undo that and what I'm gonna do is go into point mode grab this point grab move it up holding my control it'll snap to that line there right click to confirm uh, let me find my dude here Okay, that's in point mode, that's why it looks that way. So this is the piece that will take over our leg piece. So we're gonna go grab this box and delete it. We just want the curve, believe it or not. 
believe it or not. So from the side, I'm going to make sure that that curve is centered where we want it. So I'm going to go grab curve, go G, and move it, and then hold control so it'll snap. Well, it's actually not snapping. That's okay. So we'll just move it to where it's pretty much on that central line. Right-click to confirm. We're going to just copy and paste that curve now. Just all you have to do is control shift, I'm sorry, shift D, <laughs> getting all these messed up today, and drop that down to where it's there. We're going to go into, well, we're going to confirm, go into point mode, grab that point G, drop it down into where it's snapped to that top edge. That way we know it's already in the center. We're going to grab the box that's here and delete it because we just want those and the reason why is and this is a really cool feature we're going to grab this curve and just click the p key it didn't sound right and it makes a pipe to uh, change this we could use the controls here i just like to use these down here sometimes uh, we just kind of scroll up and we get that bigger bigger pipe happening there maybe just a little bigger you can also uh, use the a little slider up here so something about like that works um, oh that's the I'm sorry try this again I forgot that that was the uh, depth that increased the hole in the middle that's a thickness slider we don't necessarily want so I'm just gonna go up to about maybe there yeah they're skinny but I think that they look appropriately skinny I think maybe just a hair bigger that's a point four let's go point oh four five see what that looks like boom yeah I think that's better so point over four four five right click we're gonna hit this one P this is gonna be point oh four five and that should be the same as the upper one right click to confirm and there's our leg cylinders if for any reason like this it's not long enough you can easily just come in here grab the face and offset that face to where it's now embedded in the lower leg. Um, so he's got a real short thigh and a uh, longer cap, but I think I'm gonna, we're going to change that. I'm going to grab both these faces, pull them, whoops, we don't want to do that. That's going to put them together. Push this one down a little bit like so and pull, uh, right click to confirm, pull this one down like so as well for the moment. That just seems like a more natural break. He'll have an easier time walking. Um, I'm also going to uh, make a groove in this here to where his leg can hinge back and forth or put a socket there probably actually now that I think about it to where his leg can move around. Um, okay, what's next? Let's get these bottom foot pieces going. Once again, very simple. Uh, I think the way I will approach this possibly let's test it is to do a chamfer on these you're I thought you were supposed to put it in the back Sorry. and that works and then I'm gonna take these edges here and grab those hopefully it'll let me slide those down without any problem just like that to here and then we can take this edge and hopefully, because sometimes it says, no, no, that is against the rules. I'm going to pull this one forward like so. And I'm going to take the front one and grab and do the same thing to where we have essentially an equal, even shape there. It looks pretty good. Um, this is really nice that you can do is to go ahead and go and head in here, grab all of my edges uh, that I'm going to need to do this with and I might as well do all of these because it's going to have a natural separation of parts this way but grab all these edges like oops not that one let's deselect like that and make sure we get these uh, last two in the back and the top one almost forgot you and if we pull away we get this nice little filleting happening right click and we have this sort of softer hard shape there the foot if you can see rises a little in the center there it also tapers in the front some 
So I think my best bet is going to be to put a a ring in here. I should be able to let's see control R. Does that work here? I need to be in face mode probably or object mode. Let's see. We'll just try to there we go. Um, and we hit tab that reverses that direction. I'm also going to turn off our see-through and this should come to about I think about right here and it creates a knife cut when we do that um, let's see if I can do this on the side will it meet up it does not snap there it goes so right there going to do another one on this side, control R and get that to snap there. I love this program. All right, and on the bottom now, I'm going to go control R. We're going to reverse direction by hitting tab and snap that right there. So now we have the that nice knife cut all the way around. We probably didn't need it all the way around, but hey, grab, we're going to um it's not going to let me push that up. Perhaps it will let me push up uh, that if I select all three of these edges. It's real finicky about how it does this. Um, so that's not going to work, but what, it, what will work is selecting this face, going to R for rotate, and then I just click V so I can move my custom place it rotates from, the pivot point, and I can do this and then of course um, we will need to do some adjusting here I kind of want this to snap into that other place so while we're adjusting I hold control and then I click that edge and right click and confirm and it should be all cohesive and done as far as I know I'm going to just check and make sure these aren't two separate objects now. Q, Q, everything's, as far as I can tell, is good. Now we need to make this face in the front be smaller. So that's just a matter of scale. And pulling this in, and obviously that did not work. So we're going to um, grab edges, possibly, here, here, and scale and that is also not working so we're gonna have to grab the edges and move them so grab pull that in which is very weird why you can't do two of them at the same time it's just the way they have it working at the moment so some things are inconvenient other things are really awesome but for the most part it's all really awesome okay so this space we can offset and you got to think about it how a CAD program works. That's exactly how this one works. It's very much like a CAD program. We're going to rotate. We're going to do a custom rotation from here and go slant that out. So that works nicely. I think I'm going to do the same thing on the this face here. We're going to do a rotation V. We're going to rotate from that direction there. And that way we get that little bit of slanting out. I'm now going to just grab all these top edges. I'm not going to worry about the one that separates the front and the back foot just yet. We're going to pull out and round those guys off a bit. And then I'm going to now do the all the corners. Let's go ahead and do those. Why not? And we don't have to select all the way up because these are cohesive edges. They will find each other. We pull out and we get that. But see, I don't want to include these. I don't believe just the corners because those those are fine. They're just going to get weird. So we pull out, get their corners nice and rounded. And I'm going to do the same on the bottom because even those are the bottoms, even though those are the bottoms of the feet, uh, there should be a little bit of a bead on that edge like so, and uh, just to catch the light. So there's our basic lower leg. Um, there's a little 
I don't know if that's a insignia or what, but see there are some possible little bolts and things we can add. And let's just come over here and see what else is going on. We need some kind of joint between this pipe and this pipe. So I think that I'm going to create mm, a little box with some combed hinges that uh, go between those, which probably means these faces will be backed off quite a bit. Something like that and like this probably. Now the they will still be cylindrical but I think I'm going to worry about the cylinder after I get the the teeth and the combs done because I can always boolean that down back down to a cylinder or well let's just start with a cylinder why not there's no reason not to um, so I'm going to make this a little larger so it has kind of an overhang that will work we're going to say okay I'm going to grab this face and I'm going to extrude this up to over halfway because we want the teeth to go past the halfway mark. This will probably also be mirrored to make this work. Um, I think that I'm going to also cut this in a way let me see what I'm doing here. I'm going to move this back down to about there. You'll see why in a sec. I'm going to um, draw a two-point circle. Let's just hold, click and hold. You get other options. And I'm going to go from here to here. Oops. When you jump out of the 2D, it jumps back to where you had it uh, originally uh, placed. I'm going to extrude this essentially like that. Um, and instead of doing that, I am going to have to chop off my circle at this point. So we're going to go back into our view here and you can see our entire circle there. I want to use the trim tool to chop off that. So to do that I have to create a line goes from here to here. We say OK and now this should be separated. There we go. Chop that off. Now we're only extruding this top piece. I'm also going to get rid of these other curves that we don't need anymore. We're going to grab from the side. Let's go ahead and confirm that and we're gonna grab this guy from the side and you know I'm gonna move that over to where it snaps um, well that one we can get rid of I believe oh no we can't because that's gonna be part of this we need to join these curves together so click both curves J for join all as well and now we can grab that curve and slide the whole thing over but I'm gonna slide it to that point and we're going to hope this works we're going to extrude this face this way until that point as you can see and then I'm going to take the curve at the top of this sphere this edge and I'm going to duplicate that as a uh, secondary curve it's now a, its own separate piece we're going to grab this piece and I'm going to cut it based on that curve and that should work if I say OK and then now I can take all these other chunks like this, 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 this and delete those and we'll be left with a cylindrical version of what we just did that was the hope anyway. Now I want to take this curve um, so we're going to do this in the opposite uh, direction now. I probably don't need to take that curve and do it but uh, let's do it anyway. Take this curve, we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. 
we're going to now move that curve to snap uh, in the middle. So I'm going to grab it. We're going to snap this sucker, um, hopefully, as best we can, uh, close to the middle. That's not snapped, but and then we're going to move it this way and hopefully it will let me snap this way which it's it is good and we're gonna once again try to move it to snap perfectly okay that one's not oh hang on Close -y. let's um, grab it I keep selecting the alt key instead I'm gonna snap that sucker right there like so now we can take it and extrude this face a bit low oh, face grab the face extrude it this way let's undo I'm gonna grab that we're gonna say W we're gonna use this and we're going to extrude we actually want that to be opposite. Let me see if I click Keep Tools, if that's going to do what we want. So basically, we're going to, no. Um, I have to Boolean this. So I'm going to go here, hold down until we snapped there. We're just going to keep this as a new body, and then we're going to take, no, that can't work either. Um, this, our target bodies are going to be this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, and we're going to, we're going to pull this to here, I'm getting a little confused with myself. Um, we want to keep everything on the inside so intersection am I right so let's take this we're going to go here uh, for intersection, we're going to say Shift E. We're going to select the pieces we I'm not exactly sure what it's keeping and what it's not keeping. That doesn't seem like a intersection to me so I think what I'm gonna do is use it as a cutter like this we're gonna take this piece I'm gonna join these guys first so let me just grab my objects we're gonna join I think those are joined so that's good news and then we're gonna cut using this guy and that should get us where we need to go because then I can just delete the extraneous pieces. Do I even want to be doing this because I don't want that to be... You know what? I'm being stupid. That's cool. Let's get rid of this curve now. Let's just keep this guy and we will uh, round off all these edges and that will be exactly what we need. So. If I fill it these, that's what I'm looking for. And now we just need to create our grooves for the um, knee slots. And I'm going to move down all these pieces here. Just shift all of these and push them downward. Let's grab this one too and shift all this downward. Ooh, how come that's not working? Let's grab that one as well. Don't want to do it that way, but 
I want to and that's a curve my bad let's get rid of the curves real quick reselect these pieces these are just um, faces and what I'm trying to do is move what am I doing what am I doing <laughs> being silly that's what I'm doing so that's a solid that's a solid let's hide this one real quick we're gonna take this face see sometimes you have to think your way through like okay what what is practical and what is stupid and we're gonna say okay to that we're gonna unhide this dude and we're just gonna move it down why was I trying to do that with faces I don't know not what not awake yet and we're gonna hold control to where I can snap this uh, to that edge no nope, that's not gonna work like that so we're just gonna move this down into here and that works I'm going to duplicate Let, let's merge these two dudes together so this one and this one will just QQ um, that should now be one which it is um, these Control these uh, curves though I've noticed don't extend so we have a cool trick for that too not that they need to um, in fact let's test this and see if it can get rid of any of its geometry it doesn't need so by selecting this object I go here and I say delete and it brings up delete redundant topology and boom gets rid of those curves it did not need them to exist but we're going to take this piece now and I believe I am just going to I'm gonna can I mirror that on itself let's find out we're gonna mirror it from bottom to top we're gonna have to use um, because it's gonna jump it way up here somewhere probably oh there it is way down there we're going to need to use free saw so I click F and if I grab a spot here is that going to work where is my piece it's being rather interesting um, I say there but it doesn't seem to have chosen correctly so I don't like that so it's picking um, planes that's the one I want though right here if I can find it again there so we've got this essentially here now we're gonna take that object and move it down to where these sort of um, are gonna meet overlapping to where I can put a a pin through them if that makes sense so something along that line there will be a hole drilled through the two of them and also some grooves drilled uh, back and forth through them as well and I'm gonna have to handle the grooves uh, separately of each other so we're gonna hide the top one and uh, knowing it's in the right place is always a good feeling and I'm going to just put two grooves in this one and then there will be three grooves in the top one from as far as I can tell and to do that I'm just gonna in this view draw a corner rectangle uh, and I'm gonna see if I can mirror these over which I should have no problem doing I'm just trying to imagine where my pieces are here so this one will be basically hitting here and these will be the grooves so I'm just hopefully getting this right I might have to go back and forth a couple of times to get this right and we'll grab that curve pull it forward I think I probably need to snap that somewhere to this front edge I'm just gonna pull it out past it these are going to be the actual grooves um, I'm gonna keep the curves also because I'm gonna make the make the uh, s the finger parts of this knee joint off of based off the same curve. So that will get that. Um, 
then we will extrude that out but you notice we need to actually pull it farther forward good thing I thought of that cancel curve grab move and good and now we can take the this and I'm gonna instead of yeah I guess I'll mirror it over mirror this um, hopefully it's not gonna be weird about it probably will so we're gonna mirror that okay so that's gonna mirror that to the other side which is not what we want I'm gonna duplicate it just do it by by I and shift D and we'll move that over to where that's basically there so this is our two grooves we'll say OK I will grab their faces now and these need to be cutting through this guy like so boom that's what we're looking for and then we need to have fingers exactly corresponding from the top piece so the way we do that is going to be ridiculously difficult <laughs> um, I'm also going to need to chop out these side pieces I just realized so that the top ones can come in we're going to take this curve and duplicate it I'm going to move it out to about here something like maybe that and agree and I'm going to need to explode this meaning take it apart so I can take this side and pull it out all the way to here and then I can take the points of this curve, grab those, snap those there. It's a very technical program, but if you've ever worked in CAD before, this is like the easiest version of this ever. So we'll grab curves again, and we're going to put these curves back together. So J joins them back. And then we're going to take this curve here and we're going to duplicate it again and move it over to the other side right there like that and now these also are going to extrude forward we're going to grab this and this we're going to say w we're going to say use this and we're going to pull this forward and we're going to agree and all is good i'm going to save these uh, curves for the moment but I'm gonna turn them I'm just gonna turn their visibility off so they're not in the way and we're gonna take this piece once again I'm gonna delete any redundant topology and it should clean that up a little bit I think if I start deleting edges though things are gonna get ugly gotta be careful about that because if I were to do this like here and go X Blink. Um, it's not even going to let me because it needs it. Totally cool. Um, yeah, that's not even going to let me delete that edge. And so now, and these will all get chamfered and everything, we want to create the opposite of this that has four fingers based on this other piece that we had turned off. Um, I'm curious if I can possibly um, delete this one from that one and just be good to go but that's a possibility that may not be possible <laughs> gee let's just go up here and try to get these lined up and see if that will work that will be fine and I think if I make a duplicate well actually I just keep tools right so if I I'm gonna bring that face down real quick just to make this correct something along those lines and then uh, I'm gonna essentially delete this one from this one and keep both the tools so boom we need to go the other way so cancel we need to do 
do this one and delete this one from it keep tools and wouldn't that be sweet and say uh, this may not work because I do need to chop this at a certain level but let's see what we get by doing this now if I hide this one yeah we've got that which is good I just want to cut these guys all the way through though is the only thing so I think if I turn our curves back on and just adjust we don't need the outside ones just adjust oh I see those won't work that way I see what's going on so basically I need to make these as deep as those lines all the way out the width of these holes okay so let me see if I can take the curves and just well let me draw new curves I'm just gonna draw new curves we'll get rid of those and we will draw corner rectangles from this point to essentially and that will be fine there I'm sure now that I look yep and then we'll take another one and go from that point to here boom and then this is actually easier than I thought it would be which is always a good thing to find out and now I'll just take those and extrude those through. So we grab the faces. I'm going to move these out first. Uh, I said, okay, curves, my bad. Not faces. Grab. Come on, dudes. Let's grab that curve, that curve, and that curve. Grab. If something doesn't work, just make sure, you know, what mode you're in and try again. So basically this is going to carve these rectangle slots out all the way down to the bottoms of these curves because those curves don't need to be there. And I will take the faces now. Come on, what's going on? Oh, we got to confirm. Take the faces now and we're going to use that and go through and agree and that's done. So now I can, I'm going to hide the curves. We may use them again. Probably not though. I'm going to go in here, delete this redundant topology if there is any. Boom. Doesn't look like there is. We're going to turn on our other solid. They should fit together perfectly, which they do. And then we need to make a pin uh, hole here for a, a pin in the side. And that's just a matter of finding essentially our center just like that and making a circle I'm gonna move that circle out because this has to drill through all of them so we'll just have that there move that boom perfect and we'll take that face now um, this is going to be negative so we need to go W and we need to say use this and this hopefully that will work and slice through both of them which it believe I believe it just did perfectly and we say ag agree and we're good to go we're gonna take the same curve we have here and make that slightly smaller because this is gonna become the curve for our pin so I'm just gonna go SS to scale down slightly like that and good to go and then we take the face and just pull that through this is going to be a a new body of course so I'm just gonna click B in case and there's our pin then we can take the ends of this and not extrude I want to um, offset that face so I'm not sure why we're extruding but that should just be an offset. Oh, it's because we were on the curve. Let's delete the curve. Now we can offset these like so. I will put like a 
a slice through there to make a head of whatever this pin is so something kind of like that and then we will confirm I'm gonna take the curve here let's see if I can do the same on the other end at the same time which is always a good time saver we'll click O and offset these it doesn't seem as though they're doing it so let's uh, escape and undo that and I just want to do one at a time so I'm going to grab this one offset it's trying to do it the internal so I click tab we get this one as well and just looking that should be okay um, that'll work for now anyway and then I can do the same on this end offset that one just does it right which I don't understand why the other one didn't okay cool and then now um, I believe I can just delete that curve we can go with the face of both of these I believe and just offset these to be kind of like the the head of those hinges and that will be fine and if we want to which would probably look better as well uh, we can draw a little circle in the center here that one and just sort of pull out like that that's 21 I think it said so we'll do the same here pull out here to about 21 boom confirm and both of these can be uh, extruded out I think I can do these in opposite directions did that do the outside nope that did that so we're gonna do just one at a time so about about to there and we'll do this one about to there looks pretty even so now we can come through and make sure that these are uh, the, some of these are the same objects like this pin we'll just go QQ all good and then I can start on the fillets and so forth like we'll just click both of these and do a bit of a fillet on there like so this one this one and the two over here and fill it those slightly it just catches the light and we'll do this one and this one now a little bit more of one and then we can start on all of this jazz hopefully this one will not give us any issues being complex kind of shapes so that looks good there we'll do the same here this one may give me a problem just because of this line um, which I don't want to select so let's just try and deselect it there we go and then pull this one out to create that roundness um, normally I would do these kind of all together but I just was kind of worried that there would be some conflicts let's see if we can this time though it'll save time if we can not sure why I have that selected up there but I don't think that's an issue there we go so perfect so now let's do the same on this guy I will check the back side here in just a second there we go make sure we get all of these that looks about right oh, we missed one right down here and we do not want 
that one and pull away. Perfect. That's nice. You gotta love the look of stuff in here, man. I tell you what. All right, so now we have this goofy robot knee that looks pretty nice. He just needed something that said knee. Uh, all of this needs to have some type of a ball joint here, probably. Um, this is fine, like so. I just want to look at the image, see if there's any indication of something else like I think that's just the reflection but maybe we will put a little sort of gaskety sleeve thing here that will be a matter of finding we're gonna probably have to hide this we're gonna find the edge here I'm going to turn the solid back on and then we will offset and see about how high that needs to go like that and then I can take the face of this offset it out where we have now this nice little sort of cuff type thing almost like a not a hose clamp but you know something to that effect and round that just slightly. Cool. There we go. Okay, the basics of that leg. It's pretty much uh, pretty much the whole leg, really. And starting to think that these two legs are on something much narrower than this. It looks like it from the image now that I look at it. I'm going to see if we can pull these two in a little farther like this. That just seems to be more correct. And then maybe pull the sides back out a little, give us a little more room for this joint that has to happen there. Okay, so now what would be good is to be able to come in here and find a center, which I don't know that we're going to be able to do um, on this face. Um, that may have to do and then I will move that around to where it's close to what we're looking for let's see and that's okay we'll scale that up a bit because I want this to be huh I'm wondering if I should do a, a sphere on that instead so 1.2 probably uh, let's let's do a sphere instead so we will X that um, take a sphere and put that here something about that size, grab it. Um, I can't do that that way. So I'm going to create a sphere just on the ground of some size that'll work. Let's say that just for the heck of it. We're going to move that now into position and then we will boolean that away. Um, turn on my x-ray um, and let's move this. Try to snap it there. Snap that there. That's obviously too big. We're going to scale it down to something like that and then we're going to grab it and move it down because we don't want that stuff happening. Obviously we're not in the right spot. I don't know. Okay, now we are. Good, good. And now we'll move this down 
I just want this to delete this um, cube a bit. So we'll select the cube. Oh, that must be the same piece. That's fine. We'll select that. I don't know how that got joined, though. That's interesting. And we will Boolean this from it. Is that going to work, or is that too deep? That might be too deep. Let's move it and find out how that works. Uh, let's actually scale this ball down like so, and then grab it and move it up in there. I think that's better. Yeah, let's do that. That looks much more appropriate. And perhaps, he said, in a non-English accent, let's move this down. That will not work. We have to probably grab the face and offset the face. So let's grab this, hide this, grab this face. We're going to offset that. Let's unhide our body again. We're going to pull this down. I'm going to add a sphere to the top of that just so it feels like it's um, supposed to be uh, rolling around in that joint. Add this here. We will make that a separate body. So let's see. Something kind of like that. And that works. I um, think that fits without looking too awkward. In fact, we can scale this down a little bit and then move it up to. I mean, it's not real physics, so I think that works. And then I can Boolean those together. Cancel that and grab this and this. And say OK. That works to me. This, I think we can Boolean those together as well. And that means this and this can also be one object. I'm going to see if there's any redundant uh, topology there and any here as well. And I believe that's all good. Okay, so this little bit here. We're going to probably chamfer that edge, I think. Let's see. Uh, really no reason to chamfer it. Um, probably fill it just like anything where that needs to be more smooth. I think that works. I'm going to fill up these corners now. Something like that. We'll give this just a little fillet here for making it just feel a little, little nicer. And then we can take, as far as I know, <laughs> he's guessing again, Take this mirror itself um, should be true. Merge the halves together and say OK. And now we've got both those leg bits. We can take all of our leg pieces now, including the foot, which we will we'll work on these shortly. I'm going to mirror these. So Alt X, pop it over that way and agree. So now we've got two legs on our little dude. Now to work on, let's say, the arms a little bit. 
This one I think overall is going to get, um, first of all, some doesn't need any major changes, so we can just do our fillets. My mom's all, yes. My mom's name is Phyllis. Never mind. Mm -hmm. And we'll pull those. Evidently it doesn't want to fillet those that way. So I think if I got rid of this one and fillet it, they should. There we go. Just a little bit of a round edge on those and now I can take this guy fillet him out some I don't want to do that too much that's gonna get wacky it's because there is no split at the bottom there is no split and we want some type of elbow joints it's something I didn't didn't thought about I haven't thought about yet so a little cuff at the top of the forearm a post and some type of joint uh, maybe um, or it looks like rings along that arm there something to that effect so how about we make a little post from the top and then a stack of like three rings for the bottom one so let's see for the post I'm just going to use a cylinder or I'm just going to come from the center here be about um, how big do we want this about like that and we're going to extrude that down you think she'd be good if you let her out now mm -hmm. and with that I'm going to now grab this edge and just see if I can just fill it this over completely like this think that's okay and if I took this face okay yeah that's not what I want to do uh, cool and perhaps if it will let me move this edge that would be nice but it will not perhaps if I move both of these edges it will and it will not thought maybe if I could move this that's exactly what I wanted cool alright so this will get a pin now that runs right through the side of it that's what we're planning so from the side let's do this I'm gonna create a well, that's pretty close to center I'll create a circle that I can now move out. Agree to that. We're going to uh, make a difference and click this and run that through. Gonna make a difference. And we did. Cool. So there's that. I'm going to, okay, right away she's on the leg. <laughs> right away. So, we're going to get rid of that curve. We might be able to get rid of all of our curves at this point because I think all of those were just for that knee. I'm going to check them here, see what we've got. All those can go, and I believe all those can go. Just cleans up the entire interface, and we're going to go in here, grab this edge here, and I think give that a a chamfer that looks good we really should have done that on both so let's pick both and chamfer that in like so works for me I also want to bond this uh, box with this guy I think so we'll just go ahead and QQ that done and I'm gonna turn off our x-ray for the moment and that looks good so I will basically now want to come up from here with another rod um, I'm gonna create some cylinders uh, to do this let's go to the lobby and get ourselves a snack let's uh, 
pull this pretty much out to there. I'm just going to test something. I'm going to grab the face, pull this up, and yeah, we're nowhere near the center, but that's okay. I'm going to continue to come up to there for now. We're going to grab this, move it over to where we are in line with our arm. In fact, I think I'm going to make this lower section larger. Oops, I grabbed instead. Let's scale like so. I will worry about the height of this after I have moved it. We'll go back to x-ray so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, well, basically, and like so. Scale now. I'm just going to make this shorter like that. And we will now bring this down to something like that. To Chinatown. I'm going to look from the side now and try to center this to some degree. Looks good enough. And there we go. And the purpose of that, I want to cut like a saddle shape in here, and then I will cut a round shape overall. It's possible. Yeah, let's just do it um, squared off. That would be perfect. So the way I'm going to do that is create a circle somewhere here-ish. Um, I just want to make this that's not going to let me do that that way. Uh, something that's just a little bit bigger, like that. I'm going to grab that circle now, push it up to where it's kind of tangent to the bit at the top, like so. And I'm going to move it. This will be very interesting. Uh, you'll see. I'm going to move it this way good to go and we're going to click here we're going to make difference and hit that and then when we run this through it'll make a saddle shape we'll agree so we have this axis of our of our joint where this can roll around <clears throat> I gotta make sure I stay within the bounds of that pin uh, this curve now will get deleted and then from this side we're going to make a round shape from here to up here to down there. A curve, that is. <clears throat> like so. Like so. We will click OK to confirm that. This will be mm, not bad. That's not bad. Um, I know you can add points to this. I'm trying to remember how to do so. There's that can you add a point um, let's oh you can subdivide that curve can't you let's find the curve again I don't think you can just willy-nilly add points which would be nice uh, let's see revolve shift sweep unjoin I need to be able to subdivide which is right there let's just subdivide the curve yes dear and then we have this, so the point of that being I can come in here with these points here, hopefully scale them apart, and do this kind of thing, just to get those a little more shapely. And that's perfect. Uh, maybe move this one down. I don't think we need to, but let's see what happens when we do. That's probably fine. The point of that We'll grab the curve, we'll move it out like this. We will take the object, we will use our cutter, we'll say this is our cutter now, and yep, and we will execute, and then we'll delete everything, and now we have this shape going on for our elbow. If we wanted to, um, that's pretty cool. If we wanted to, we can come in here on, on these two edges and roll those over. Um, it's having an issue, so let's include these possibly. That may work 
better and do this and then possibly add these in after the fact and those are pretty high tech and beautiful we do need to uh, create our hole here for the pin that's going to be there something wrong So I'm going to duplicate this curve and now I'm not sure that's how I wanted to do that because that curve is projected essentially slanted so I'm going to undo the the duplication of that uh, I'm going to matter of fact delete all those curves from the side though we're going to create a circle like this essentially based on that which was near perfect I'm gonna create I'm gonna increase that just slightly it's not gonna hurt anything if this isn't exactly the same size but it is pretty darn close we're gonna grab that curve pull it back just a little bit and then I'm gonna take the face difference hit this dude and we will bore out the hole for that grab the curve delete it and now we can take these edges including these and fill it or chamfer uh, let's see which, which one looks better that's that's pretty mechanical and cool we'll keep that and then we got to create a little pin for those. Of course, I deleted my curve already, but I can probably duplicate this one and have it work just fine. Pull that out. Um, let's just create a new one. Go from here. We'll probably be able to just drop this on a. No, there's definitely not a center. That looks pretty good, and I was not perfect this time, but, you know, close enough. We'll grab that one, shift it over a little bit, make it a little bit smaller to make sure the pin fits inside the hole. That's what he said, and we'll grab the, this, pull this out far, and now we can grab the surface of it extrude that through we will call that a a new body there we go and once again we'll do the same kind of pin where we just grab this edge offset it um, we don't want to offset that way so I want to offset oh that we're actually grabbing the curve um, that can work as well so let's Uh, no, let's not do it that way. Um, I'm going to delete that curve. And we're going to offset this edge. Since it goes inward, we need to hit tab. We get the this one as well. And I'm just going to make basically a head of that. So we will delete that one. We will grab also this edge, offset that one. So approximately there uh, that will work and then we can grab these well actually we need to offset these faces here to be the, the head of the pin then we can grab these outer edges for starters to round off the pin like so and then I can grab these and just give them a very small very small fillet like so now that's that's done there is our elbow joint I think I want to put a couple of rings here though and we'll see how we can do that um, 
gonna go like so and I offset this one as well like to here and then we can offset this one to here and then take these faces like this offset those out and now we have some cool rings for the for the arm I might move this uh, forearm down just a little bit just to give a little bit of um, more thickness to that upper arm like so now I can go back grab my edges fillet these off a little bit like so and that's that let's go ahead and join some of these objects those those are all joined which is good that's joined and that's joined. so we don't really have anything left to do I think I want to cr try and create a couple of grooves here let me see what my offset will allow me here good good that's good we'll go like that we will now offset this one a little bit that we will now offset this one here then this one like so the purpose of that is to create three ribs on the arm there without interrupting the elbow joint and now I can take these outer edges and fill it those out a little and we have that cool so he's got an elbow and an upper arm that needs just a little bit of detail there is a a chunk I think there's some type of a cutaway toward the back of the arm It'd be kind of interesting to put in here not sure what it is or what it's for but why not we will go and just grab a rectangle do something like this and we will grab the face we will say that that pull it through and have our chop out there we can get rid of the curve now and you know maybe put some detail inside of there or something for the moment I think I want to kinda smooth out this stuff just slightly like that and then go ahead and fill it this edge all the way around slightly as well not sure what to do with that but it gives him that cool little kind of notch he had in the, um, the image there we might even want to do that let's get our curve back that's how Stella got her curve back just so you guys wanted to know in case she did uh, we'll take that curve now grab it pull it toward the front and get kind of the same detail maybe a little more shallow uh, on the front before we do all that filleting grab that face here W select that pull it through say done that's kinda kinda interesting I suppose I'm gonna just hide that one we might use it again then we can take our fillets here and on the back speaking of fillets I need to call my mom uh, there we go do that and then we can select our outer edges front and back and slightly nope not gonna let me do that cool I think there's something wrong with this edge is why I uh, don't know what's going on with that but this one shouldn't even be there won't delete 
Oh, I think I know why. Let's fix this real quick. When I extruded this through the square, the curve was not out far enough. So, easy enough to remedy. We cancel that, grab the curve, pull this back a little bit. That's the only thing it was. Grab the face, W, this, extrude through. So now we don't have that issue anymore. Hide the curve, and then fill it the inside curves. So even when you mess up, there's like minimal time to catch back up to where you were. It's not bad at all. Then I can grab all these like I did, and this time it will work. And you see we're already back to where we were. And boom. Like that. Good. Pretty quick and easy. Um, there's some kind of slice between here and going up like that. That would be kind of cool. Let's see if somehow I can make that happen. Uh, I could be fooling myself, but let's do it anyway. Uh, side view. I'm just going to draw a line that goes from here to there. Why not? We'll agree. I'm going to take that, bevel that out a little bit to where we have kind of a rounded edge there. Uh, let's take that curve now and move it out. I'm not sure how to do the second part of this once I cut this, but we'll see. We'll grab the object. We'll say cut. We'll grab the curve. We'll slice through. Now we've got two separate objects here. Um, let's just delete the curve. We will take this object, I think, and just scale it left and right to start with. And that will shrink it in a little, giving us that cool curve. And then I think I can move, yeah, I can this where it shrinks from the top down and that is beautiful ah I love that okay so then can I shrink it from front to back without damaging this possibly but possibly not so scale the I kinda wanna shrink it from that point uh, it's not horrible. It dips that in a little bit, but no one's ever going to see it, so it doesn't matter. And now we have this lovely edge created on our arm. I can go in here and now and say this, this, Q, Q, and now it's back to being one object. That's freaking great. I mean, that's amazing. It's amazing that it works that well. We are going to select these edges here. Alt select so that it will select all and do a small fillet on that edge like not like that. Look at that. That's beautiful. And I think maybe two little cutouts right here along the side of the arm to give it something uh, a little extra. They could, they could turn into lights later on or something. But just a couple little rectangles like this. I'm going to duplicate that, put one on top of the other one, and grab both of those, and bevel both of them, just a little like that. I'm going to grab both of them and move them out now because they're, there we go, they were too close. So now we will extrude, we will make sure that it's a subtraction, we will check, grab that as our object we're going to cut from, and we will, are we cutting into it or are we not? We are not, so why aren't we? Um, oh, because we're using curves. No, nope, we want to use curves. So, once again, let's turn off the no, um, face, that's why. 
So this space, this space, extrude, subtraction, this is our object, and we go for it. There we go. That's what we wanted. Um, I, do I care that it, that's at an angle? Do I care? It's kind of cool that it is. Just make it go a little deeper like that, and say good. I kind of like that. And we'll get rid of our curves. Lips. Did not want to get rid of the entire object, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Good. And now we will bevel these. Or I should say fill it. But fill it with what? And good to go. Look how beautiful that is. That's amazing. It really is. Okay. Now we need to work on the forearm. So as far as I can tell, it's pretty much just a Kleenex box. Um, rounded, got some bolts, maybe a couple lights on there, put a small detail. I think that it's pretty simple. I'm going to pull back this face just a little bit, because I think it'd be cool if we did a little bit of a, a step down from it. So we'll go like so. We will do, um, let's select the edges and do an offset those not what we wanted so escape let's see if we'll do offset with that face and have that work the same way yeah that's how you should do it just like this now we can take this face pull that down slightly and it just gives a little more an extra detail and uh, then we can go ahead and round anything we need to. You notice I stopped naming a while back. Probably wasn't a good idea. Uh, we'll select all these, fill it that out a little bit. Then we can select these here to get what, whatever we want to. And uh, you can, yeah, there you go. Alt Control will uh, select all the corners in a ring, which is really handy. And then Alt clicking with Shift, whoops, that's the Windows key foo, uh, will grab the whole um, loop pull these out slightly like that that's pretty great I have a feeling though I'm gonna move all this stuff from the top here let's grab our objects this one the pin this here that should be everything we'll grab those I just kinda want that more centrally located on the arm there nice I think that works really well. Okay, so as far as details and stuff go, we can worry about that in a bit. I'm going to make four little depressions for four screws, and then we'll make the screws. So let's start with um, a circle and a couple lines. So I'm going to go to the side. I'm going to create a circle kind of located here. Hopefully this will look good. I'll probably have to refill it everything. And I'm just going to come off of here like that. Let's just keep going this way. And about like that. We will get rid of this and then I have to select the whoops, the two pieces of a curve that's not tangent there but that's okay uh, the two pieces of the curve and then we join them once they're joined I'll zoom back out I'm gonna grab this curve here and move it back a little bit 
and I'm just going to extrude into this to create kind of a depression um, for my screws I think this may be horrible but it's kind of a it's an idea All right so I'll extrude we will do it as a subtraction we will use this while we do it and just kind of cut why are we not cutting that's not a cut because we are not on plane and then we are going to extrude we're going to subtract and we want to use that box so now we're cutting in and I just want to create kind of a, a dip into that like so maybe even not that much maybe like something like that why you ask well I don't know uh, let's let's make four of these I'm gonna try and mirror these uh, little planes here real quick or or curves I should say let's escape that grab our curve gonna have to mirror these so this is going to go back there which it works I loved when it does those we're also gonna mirror we're gonna do those uh, downward I don't know that it did that did it put them way down there it did so what I need to do is go uh, undo that mirror down and then we're going to connect um, get um, the F key and decide where these go uh, based on that um, how we're going to do that I'm not entirely sure yet because I don't see that working the way I planned so no we're not going to do that that way we'll do it the simple old school way um, I think I got rid of my other mirror too unfortunately so this mirror will go that way and that one's okay this mirror is going to go down should be my pieces down there we will agree to it and then I'll grab these curves and just move them up and just do it the old school way and we'll zoom in here and reposition these to be on the corners where they should or how they should basically like that and now I can take all four of them and move them back and now with the plane mode we'll put on there we will select all four of them subtract use this as our cutting the object and cut into it about there done we get rid of those curves I don't think I need any of my curves right now I can't even tell where that other one is grab those delete and with that I can come in here with our edges and hopefully make these look a nice, a very nice. Uh, there we go. There we go. Make sure we grab the ones that are higher up. And I will fillet these over like so. Guess that looks okay. It really looks like I missed it in the back let's undo the fillets and the extractions there and there we go I need to move the ones on the right they're not in the right place so this and this grab move over see if this was blender I would be mortified I'd be like oh I have to redo that this is nothing this is so easy in here it's ridiculous so we'll grab all four of these W we're using this we're going to re-extract those into it like that say okay get rid of all of our curves again and now we're back to 
to where we were. We just grab our edges for filleting. There we go. In fact, I'm thinking I'm going to include these as long as we don't get a some type of no, no, no message because I think those need to be filleted all together. That's not bad. Now we'll make a screw, which will be pretty easy to do. Uh, we'll even make it a Phillips head screw because we can. I'm going to should I do it there? I think I'm going to do it over here and then move it. And I'm only going to make the head of the screw. We don't need to make the, the full one. But we're just going to start with a circle like so. Um, wondering if we should do this. No, this will be fine. And we're going to also make... Let's find the center like this. This is just a reference line. This will be also a reference line for for there. Okay, simple stuff. And then we can make a rectangle from the center. Let's use a center rectangle like that one right there. Boom, and we will do that. We will duplicate it a lot of people would not do it this way, but this is the accurate way. Start going that way, and we'll say 90 degrees. And be okay with that. And we can come in now, get rid of these central um, reference lines. Also, we can get rid of all of these. Isn't that neat that it'll do that? I think so. Um, we need to move. Let's. We also have to uh, connect these together. So in one second. Whoops. Um, we need to take that, 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 and that, and join those. And then we can take this space. For now, we are going to move that out. Just going to grab it. We are not going to extrude it. We are just going to grab. Oh, it needs to be the curve. My bad. So we'll grab the curve, move that out of the way. On the little face here, we're going to extrude it out about like that. We're going to take the edge of it. I am going to fill at the edge until it's nearly perfectly round like that. Let's grab the object itself. Grab. Move that way out here. I just want to be able to see that better. We're going to grab the curve here. Pull that in front. In fact, we can take this little screw we've made and I think we should flatten it out a little bit, um, scaling it this way. Perfect. And we'll take the curve here. We are going to extrude that. We're going to do it as a subtraction. And we're going to do it into that object. So basically just going boom. We now are cutting in and that's done and all we have to do now is select this inner part and delete it and we have a Phillips head screw so we'll grab these delete the curves that looks amazing just saying gonna grab the edges of that see if it'll let me uh, these are gonna have to be individually selected of course I hate this view scaling to where it slows down the closer you get to an object. Really annoying. Um, 
I'm going to grab all these outer edges here. I'm just going to put a small chamfer on them. I don't know what I selected there, so... Oh gosh, that really annoys. So I'm going to... What I'm going to do to make this easier on me is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to scale it up. This way I can see what I'm doing. Uh, not have to be so close to it to do it either. And just grab these edges. We'll never see this screw this close, but uh, just wanting to do it the right way. Just grabbing all these internal uprights. I think I can probably... Nope, that's going to grab too many of them, so we'll do, do it this way. There's some things that are a little manual in this program that I think that they're working on to make a little more automated. Just simple things like selection. Um, so we'll round those just slightly like that. Perfect. I also want to round this back edge slightly because I think it's a little sharp. You see my Phillips head screw I just made? And um, I'm going to grab it. We're going to obviously scale that down a lot. I'm just going to put this in position. Go from the front. I am going to SS that. That works perfect and then we have to grab it move it where it goes you can control click the surface uh, should be there but I think that's the upper surface yeah that needs to be worked on a little bit too guys let's try this again see if it yeah it's going from the center of the object that's why so basically there it's about right just want to make sure that little curve there we go now I rotate it a little bit this way to get some randomness and a cool thing you can do is control D that object decide the plane, the center basically of the object, which is there, and then I right click. Nope, you don't. I control D, decide where the center is, and now I can move this thing around like kit bashing. It automatically copies and pastes and places it where you where you want it to go. So I can just click there, right click, and it's done. And I have another one ready to go. So. Click, right click. We put our last guy right here. And then you just escape after that last right click. So done and done. See my little legs and knees and stuff? Oh my gosh, this is horrible. Yeah. See his little arm? Can you be 3D printing? Yeah, probably. And uh, all the screws are on his little arm box there. Deciding now what other things. There's some type of little chunk that sticks out there. That might be kind of cool to do. A little strip here that goes in, I think. So that's just a matter of a couple of boxes like we had before. So let's do this little chunk that sticks out. Something like that uh, I'm trying to press my control key there we go 
get better precision that way. I love the fact that these have measurements on screen until you get rid of it. Um, I wish the measurements would stay if you chose. That would be nice. So we'll, we'll just pull this out like that. Agree. I believe that's its that it's a new body. I'm going to get rid of the curve. I've got sheets here. I'm not sure why I've got sheets, but that looks like it's my my screws are considered sheets, which uh, not sure why. I kind of want to solidify those. So if I do a Point one. Is that going to destroy the screw? Is that going to work? Do point one. Both sides. I just want to see what it's going to do to the screw. We'll say OK, and that's still a sheet. Um, I really want to be able to right click and say, you know, make that into a into a thing. I think though I can probably cue those together and looks like there's still sheets whale sheet um, is that underneath it could be because they're not actually making contact I really need those to be solid bodies so we'll go ahead and grab those slightly shift them beneath the surface Something like that. And we'll Q. Grab this too. Q. And then those are all one. We'll Q this and Q that. We'll Q this. I don't know if this is going to work. It'd be nice if it did. Q and no, they're not. Uh, for some reason they're just not embedded enough or something, but they look like they are. So Q and Q, I'll just try one. And, nope, still separate. Weird. I'll have to figure out why. I know it's because they say sheet. Um, it might just be a piece of sheet. <laughs> um, let's try to thicken this more. I don't want to mess them up up. Did that mess with it? I think it messed with the... Yeah, it did. So let's try to thicken them again. It go the other direction. So pushing in. Trying to turn these into solid bodies is the point of this. We want to see sheets disappear from down there. It's not doing it unfortunately it's probably colliding with itself underneath and can't uh, manage that kind of math so hmm I probably should have turned them into solids while they were still large so that might need to be what I do so I'm gonna take this one real quick just just for fun double that up like so size it up you can see there is it looks uh, Let's see, there's the scale. Why that's a sheet, I don't know. Um, it might be because this back side goes to the front. I don't think so. That looks normal. I'll try this thickened sheet and just push that back and see if that works on it. It does not. Okay, so we'll try it going outward. I'm just going to have to be very minimal with it. And that looks okay, and that that did change it. Okay, so now we'll just scale this sucker back down to where it needs to be. Like that. I'm going to delete these other ones because I don't want those as sheets. We'll redistribute them. Delete those. 
And that's just a matter of taking this guy, making sure that it's embedded somewhat into the surface, which it's not. So grab, pull that back to where it is a little. I'm going to control D it like we did before. Tell it use that face. And now we can place these around the way we did a minute ago. And everything will be good. Super fast. Yow. Oh, that, that's super freak. Never mind. So right click and escape. And we're good. So once again, now that we've sorted that issue, and that's the thing, man. Any issue I've come up with, I've been able to sort in here. And we will grab all these. We will say Q, Q, and look at that. All one piece now. That's what I wanted. Cool. So let's go ahead and take this little box. That's the one that attaches and chunks out from there. Um, it is, I believe, floating in the air. So we'll grab it, push it back into the body just a little bit like that. Uh, I need to do some cutouts, which will also be pretty easy to do. I'm going to go from the top here. Um, that's interesting. Let me see if I can go from the top using this as my temporary construction plane and it'll let me see it. It won't, so we need to x-ray mode like that. And then I can take this circle. I just want to do like that. And the cool one of the cool things is you can take something like this, drag it down there like so, click, tell it you only want like five of those say okay now I've got these five dudes like so and you can make them stick out you can make them go in I'm gonna make these going in so I'm gonna grab all of these like this we are going to say separate we're going to say use this is that gonna work uh, I believe it is, so we can go like that, and it isn't working. Cool. So what I want to do, I'm going to try this again. I might have to do these individually, which I think is pretty silly. Um, w. And that. And now we go. There we go and boom done so we can go in here and get rid of the curves and spice up our edges a little bit like that I'm gonna grab all these front facing ones start with we'll turn off x-ray it's very hard to grab those with x-ray on are you hungry because I am yeah. what do we got um, grab that that and oh we need to grab these as a there we go, and then I can pull these away and have a nice little bevel on that. And then we will grab these. I don't believe I need to grab the corners because they should be, I think contingent is the word I'm looking for, meaning they select all the way through on their own. There we go, and boom, done. There's that little piece. Don't know what it's for, but they built it on him for a reason. Okay, so that, mm, deciding if that needs to be attached or not, probably will. That'd be fine. I mean, so we'll go ahead and cue those together. Boom. Done. And now we want a little 
a little square I think is that what he had over there let's see there's another long piece longer than that one even that's fine simply done we'll just pull this like so I think make this a little skinnier than the other do it like that works for me perfect and we can extrude make it subtraction um, use this object and we've got everything selected wrong so we're going to grab this face subtraction use this object and push that in say ok we delete our curve we should have beveled that curve before we did that this just saves time so we'll grab the curve B bevel it slightly like that that way we don't have to bevel the edges later and we go there and there and now we push that in and it's good so now we can delete the curve we can grab all these edges if we want to fill with them pull away and we have a little fillet on there and that's good to go cool I'm trying to think of anything else there's this little circle things I don't know if I like those yet um, I think some bolts on this plate might be kinda cool of course I made my bolts part of the arm so I can't use them now fool but perhaps I could cut one off by using this as my um, temporary construction plane right there I could create a circle hopefully that's how this will work like this use that as my cutter slice that bolt right off of there that'd be cool let's find out if it works uh, so we select this we cut and we use this ooh that's not working because it goes the wrong going the wrong direction um, for a kata I'm trying to figure out how to use the the right plane for that I don't know why I would use that plane to be honest with you um, I wonder if I can set my plane from my camera view Plane from camera. I don't think that's going to change the way that cutter works, though, personally. Because if I go to cut this again, still going to do that. Cancel. I think it's because of the construction plane that this was made on. Hmm. Because that makes no sense to do it there. But it is on the YZ. I don't think that'll matter after the fact, though. I think I've already made it and it's already got that construction plane um, already decided what it is. Yeah. How would you switch that? You have to be able to switch that. Hmm. There's got to be a way. I know there was a way. <laughs> I know there was. Um. 
tinsel because that's plain it's plain it's that but it needs to cut that way I'm, I you know I can just do a line because that makes more sense doesn't it yes it does to draw a line from this plane there's always a way and I'm doing it right now and it will cut this a little bit though now that I'm noticing but uh, I might be able to move it to where it does not so I'll do this and do that there we have a line if I can find my way back we have a line this line now will be our cutter I need to let's see grab that dude move it forward but I don't want it to cut all the way through the box so <sighs> if I can grab its ends and move those to where this will cut beyond the screw yep sandwich is fine thank you um so the problem is this is going to cut left and right and it's going to cut all the way through my box to cut i wish there was a way to limit the distance that it cuts or to select faces and have a separation function because i don't think there's a separate or anything as well so I'm going to grab the box, I'm going to grab select cut, I'm going to grab the cutter, and it does cut what I want it to, but it's unfortunately cutting through the whole box, and it would be nice if you could set the, the distance of how far that cutter goes. Um, I'm going to say okay. And now I know I can at least take this bolt. Uh, no, I can't actually. Okay, try this one more time. I got this. We cut. We pick this, and I just agree. And now that's not working. That's interesting. Why would that be the case? It it was wider than the the bolt. Try it again. Uh, I'm going to take the curve, scale the curve up to where it's a little wider now even. Because it's trying to cut the whole box and because it's not cutting the whole box it probably is failing on cutting the screw because it can't only cut the one part. And if it can't cut everything then it doesn't count it as a cut. Hmm well I have a better idea I'm going to grab the curve I'm going to scale the curve I'm gonna just meld those parts back together after I cut them apart I've done this before so we'll do that I will move the curve somewhat centrally here I don't think there's a center point oh there is and I can now scale this up to be as long as it needs to be this way it'll cut all the way through and complete and then I can merge the parts back together uh, as far as I know so we will click cutter we will click curve and that will cut that whole side off that should work which it does I have a separate screw I can now duplicate and move that was a lot of work just for that and then I will get rid of my curve I will take this part um, these screws probably these screws as well yep and this piece we will cue cue and agree and now that's all one piece again and I got my screw that didn't sound right okay so we're going to take this screw which is now also still a solid which is good I will rotate that 90 degrees this way I'm still getting used to the program, so forgive me if I fumble a little bit. 
And then I'm going to now move that screw to these four corners. I'm wondering if I should recess those as well, but probably not. It's probably fine like this. It's kind of neat that they stick out, in my opinion. So I'm going to oh, groove, move this back over to here, somewhere approximate to where it's going to live, about there. And I'm going to move this up and see if I can snap that to that face, which is close enough. Now I can just pull that forward until it's about where it needs to be. And there's only four of them, but why not just go ahead and control D these and grab the face in the center. I don't want to grab edge, I want to grab face. Right click, nope. Control D. Grab the face, there we go. And then I would right click when I found the spot where I want them to go. So click, right click, and then we'll check this one. Click, right click, and escape. So there's our little screws there. We can also grab those. Q, Q, put those together, and then grab those, this box, Q, grab these, these do not, did not meld together, Q, Q, those time, that time they did, cool, alright, so we have the upper arm essentially done. Um, kind of feel like there needs to be some kind of plate or something on the front of that. Definitely is one on the left side. So let's go ahead and add a little plate to this. Uh, I'm going to test something. Uh, we'll grab the face here. We control R. We're going to tab that the other way. And I think if I shift roll, yep, look at that and just do that. I'm going to probably pull this one out a little bit. Let's do both a little bit first. Okay, I really didn't want to include those, so we're going to have to extrude these out a little bit like so. Lost that one, but that's okay, because I think I just want the one And we'll go ahead and work the edge magic. The edge magic. And pull those away. Whoops, didn't want to do that. I am still wanting to do edges. Why am I offsetting the face? It forced me to pull that out a little farther, but it's fine. I don't hate it. We'll just curve those slightly like that. I will grab the rest of these, fillet those slightly like that, and be good. Okay, if you, you kind of want to see what's going to be happening with your surface, your rendering, you can always go into the render right here, click on a matte cap, turn your edges off, and you can kind of get an approximation you know, of how your, your edges and stuff are looking. These little tiny fillets create all that little highlights why I use these little fillets all the time. The screws look great. Everything looks as it should. Perfect surfaces. Look at those knees. Totally cartoony. I love it. And uh, make sure I've filleted underneath, which I did. Good, good. Looks good. I'm going to put some kind of seam in this plate because it just feels like it needs something like that. Probably. Oh, dang it. And you know what? I didn't save my screws again. <laughs> it's all right. Um, I'm not going to go back and undo all that. I could cut these relatively easy because it's just right along a 
a flat surface if you notice. Let's go ahead and do it. They're not dipped down in there or anything, so we can just say, hey, do them along this edge. We'll just have to, you know, put them back on. Um, that's fine. And I'll move the the deal here. Where's our midpoint? Do we have one? There. This way we can scale that out. And now we'll use that as a cutter. We'll slice the bolts off. I gotta stop uh, doing that merging everything together, you know. And we can take the object, cut, use this line, and of course it's in the wrong plane. Let's see if we can swap that. Why can't we swap it? Hmm. I did this in the right plane, so I don't understand why it's doing that. Cancel. Got to be a reason why. Um, grab that cutter, that, and you see you should be able to tab. No, that just selects everything. Should be able to, it's V or, no, not all. Okay, I'm going to have to look that up because. I need to be able to swap my cutting direction here. And I'm trying to remember how to do that. Nope, Alt, Control Tab, nope. Screen space. Let me try screen space. S, that did it. And that's perfect. So now we go ahead and say OK. It cuts it so we can remove the bolts again, which we needed to. I'm just going to leave those particular ones <coughs> undone for now because uh, I don't want to have to go through that again. 90. We'll grab that, put it where it should go. Turn to the side here. Get that on the front of this box pretty good. Slightly embedded. Get it where we want it. And then I can, of course, Control D, select its center. Now we're ready to snap it to all the other corners. Click, right click. Click, right click, and escape. And there you go. That panel has screws as well. And I think he's looking pretty good. Now I need to do his wrist and his hand etc. Cool. Well, that's our little robot guy so far. I'm going to eat some lunch and that we will come back and uh, do more on him later. So thanks for watching and talk to you guys in a while.